start jumping it up against Rondé Hollis Jefferson to start. And we are off and running. This tip off is brought to you by Honda, the official motorcycle of the PBA. With def a defensive jam on Japet. Hollis Jefferson, the pull up jumper, the first basket of the finals. Hey, Carlo, that you have a capability to be a coach here in the PBA. So RR Popoy against Justin Brownlee. They're forcing him to post up because, you know, the three-point shooting of Brownlee has been spectacular. Jacket adjusts this time around, and he scores with some words. He has on the shot-blocking ability of Ronde. Block this, said Jacket. This will be an N1 for JP Era, who will get a start in game. Hollis Jefferson with a catch. Going one-on-one -on -one against Stephen Holt. Jefferson, tough look, but it is money as they start seven up. That goes all the way. Oh, another steal. RJ with a jam. Rodney Hollis Jefferson is an excellent defender. He anticipates so. RHJ against three defenders. Bogoy from the corner. It's good. You know, the energy of the uh, TNT is really coming from their defense. Really Jane now directing traffic, attacks middle, kicks it out, another three on the way. Got a guy! So such an unselfish player in RHJ. TNT clicking from all angles, everything. Oh, really who would have thought this was possible? RHJ penetrating, attracting the defense. Three Baranga Hinebra players collapsing on him, which has left RR Pogoy wide open on the wings. Yes, a lot, a lot of these things are really happening because they're, Hinebra is being forced to help out on RHJ. They are, ve they are very good in the transition attack. They're very Two defenders against him. The entry pass caught by Jacket. And he will score again. Second basket. Similar ways of conversion. Rebound on Bata quickly forward to Pogoy. They're off and running. R R reverse is money. And it's another fast break attack, Carlo. Sees his first action of the finals in his young PBA career. Oftana gets the separation and he scores on the layup. So TNT has a lot of those defense of Baranga Hinebra. They are really forced to extend out. Second defender on Brown Lee. Finally, he scores his first two of the match. Well, well, Carlo, what, uh, you know, he never just asked. They want to go to Hollis, one-on-one -on -one against Holt. Skip pass, Aurin launches hand, but burns from downtown. That is a three as well, the third of the ball game. Brown Lee, Abarriento still could not connect. Oh, Great tap pass from Scotty. Timid is gone for JD. Look at the way. Kelly Williams was so frustrated there because he's got three he never players. He definitely get away with. Castro, what a quick drive. Castro is gone. He still has that speed. He cannot, you know, extend out. Defend him. Clean swipe coming from Kelly. Scotty Thompson recovers though and gets his first basket of the match. Oh, Rasko finds himself momentarily open and he converts on the end one. They were trying to decide if Popper, the first man down in Rasko and that indecision Cost them. Yes, that, that was a very smart move by Ralph Fu. You want to fill the lanes when you're bringing the ball down and then at the same time go to your spots. He saw the lane was wide open. The best thing and the smart thing that he did. Sets it up to Pogoy. RR already has eight. Eram launches and converts from downtown. That is a three as well. He's also playing ever, but you just have to make that second, third, even that fourth extra pass. Oh, to get some strong rolling. move coming from J.P. Era. As he matches the output of okay, Hinebra. Aurin to RHJ. Hollis Jefferson converts. So, so difficult to stop Rondé when he goes on. Rather than just staying behind. And that's what he did. He did in this, that last play. Japet, elbow jumpers money. He is the first player in double digits with 10 already. Advantage though. As Abarrientos is down, one defender not in action, and they pay for it with a three bomb from Reina Bata. His first point in the finals will be a triple. This could be an advantage for Barangay Hinebra. They push it forward. They give it back to Ralfu, and he boards it in. She again, you know, the, the extra pass. Aurin at the post. Against a much smaller Abarrientos, double team comes. Aurin forces it up and in. You see the upper body strength of Kim Aurin. You know, taking 
the post defense of Abarientos. JB, too deep, double team, too late, roundly two points. But those are the things, it's really all about the timing and First time appearing in the finals for Stephen. As Brown Lee converts, send one. That is sheer talent right there, Carlo, with the way. For TNT, Williams on the hesitation. Lefty finish is good as well. But sometimes you, you just have to give it up rather than now. Of your second period. The entry pass connects, so they beat the fronting defense with just going down. A steal for Holt, but he turns it right back. Recovery for Ahan Misi, though. Maverick on the move. Rafko converts! The kind of defense that Barangay Ginebra is known for. RHJ on him now. 12 on the shot block. Scotty beats his first defender and he converts. Well, that happened right there because Jason went for that steal. It's hard on you. You got to be quick on your feet. But see, the gamble on that steal led to an easy layup. Doing his long storied matchup against LA Tenorio. Oftana sneaks one in. It's a lot of versatility. In the park. Rebound battle won by JB. Quick pass inside. Ahan Misi converts with the left. His first field goal. They're, they're using that the size advantage on their guards, most especially. The ice Tenorio. He attacks it and he converts with the push. You know, you know, I feel that Tenorio's presence there is creating problems defensively for for TNT. Why? Because if they switch, we landed by the TNT drop on Giga, leading by double digits for a majority of the first quarter, some of the second as well, but Barangay Ginebra, as they always do, fought back. Ginebra couldn't even get any three-point shot in. And of course, you know, it's really been too close. Uh, TNT really heavily relying on their defense. That's why they were, you know, eventually, uh, the energy really translated to TNT. They need to activate Justin Brownlee. Barangay Ginebra. Bogoy attacks baseline. Finger roll is good. I was Aggressive. surprised right there. He literally attacked him with no hesitation. Yeah. To pass out Thompson of the Euro step. Brownlee outside shot is gone. That is a four-point shot for JB. That's a good sign there for Barangay Ginebra. We have the uh, Glenn Cobontin. He knows that the strength of Cobontin is definitely uh, to be physical on that post. That's why those step back, those step outs, you know, to be something that Brownlee will be doing. Justin Brownlee is a type of player who will make you pay with the smallest errors. But a response though from Ronley Hollis Jefferson, he connects the triple. You gotta love the matchup and also try to draw some fouls. You know, try to at least get to the line and take advantage of those, you know, mistakes defensively. Eight minutes, 30 seconds into this third quarter, already three fouls. The defense, Thompson down, oh. hold it on by RHJ. Forward pass, Oktana misses. Hollis Jefferson, literally from baseline to baseline, block to basket. Did you see the effort of the part? The recovery right there. You know, that was an amazing play. You know, after that miss here, out of nowhere, he was the one who did that very good trail job there. And if you're Barangay Ginebra, you cannot forgive for the Giga. Thompson, Duahan Misi, they're looking for Japan, gets early position, and he converts. The boy Aram cannot... You have to put in early work against Aguilar, as Nambatak launches and converts from deep. I mean, the stars have come. Nambata changes his mind. Era made a three earlier. Makes another one. Playing a great game, Carlo, with the way he has really been. Finally, Sway Nambata is playing superb game. He's like a veteran. Like he, he's been there, done that already. While the first timer keep their heads above water. Five-point advantage. Castro has it. He launches. And converts from downtown. You know, veterans really know what to do in given situation. Ready for it. Castro with a defense going under, punishing them with that open three. That's seven points in the first half. Castro against Abarrientos. Jason for shot is good. Draws a foul from the rookie. Takes him to school. Well, there's a best see what RJ Abarrientos can do on defense. TNT throw on Giga will get a bonus free throw. The jersey grab. Obvious foul on Abarrientos. 
Castro will be taking the bonus when we come. 12 seconds on the shot lock for Hinebra. Brown Lee gets another defender running to him. Hold on the move, layup is good. Finally gets a field goal, it's an end one. You know, the very important factor in first half the basket. He's been going to the line a lot, but look at the way he attacked it right here. These are the things, or these are the intangibles that we want to really see. Because if not, it's going to be just a Justin Brownlee show. And that will be very difficult because you have a good TNT team. Better defender, but generating the switch was Jason Castro, and he hits the three. Well, he's just staring the defense of Orientos. Because after that pick and roll, Carlo, there was a switch already. Yep. And yet he still went Great back screen. there because yep. he wanted RJ Barrientos. You know, for me, that's personal. Yeah. Prince has never forced anything, but he is liking his one-on-one -on -one against Abarientos as Chapet finds himself free for the slam dunk. Castro loses control of the basketball. Hold on the move. Hold finishes strong. So the nice part about Stephen Holt. Aurin goes on the move, sets it up. Nambata fakes. Nambata. No opening. Aurin lets it fly from the corner. It's good for three. That's great execution on the part of the percentage from that distance just not working out in this ball game. Usually they are 36% as RJ Abarientos answers the goal. He's known to be a good shooter, but they're really giving him a lot of problems on defense. He just has to continue to take shots. RHJ though responding. On the attack now is Nampata, Stingray, finds a gap, and converts, draws the foul as well. He's definitely going to be rewarded, taking advantage of that. They're number one in fast break in the tournament. And right there, that was a clear indicator that they will continue to push and be aggressive. How about the seal screen coming from JP Eram? Things that you do not see in the stat sheet, but quarter by TNT. Can Hinebra respond? Good entry pass. Brownlee finishes with the left. You know, the, the precision on the pass. Trying to go inside. RHJ kicks it out to Nambata. Four point attempt. It's good for Stingray. Uh, this is going to be very difficult for Barangay Hinebra, Harlow. The ball might play in here against Barangay Hinebra is that they've put in a lot of work just to be within striking distance. Now, the legs are. They find Pogoy. RR kicks it out. Jason, back to Pogoy. What a pass from the blur. It's another breakdown. The problem with that is... In the second half, Ahan Misi attacks towards his left, turns towards his right, and converts. Especially... Oh, look at that. Another block. And Stephen Holt finally converts from deep. They needed that. Definitely, that's going to be a good boost there for Holt to get his score. Kobuntin, open, big shot from Glenn for three. Carlo, it will be, be a five-point swing on the other side from down 12. Now looking at a 17-point disadvantage as Ralph who scores inside. Well, well Carlo, it, it's been the story of the game because, you know... Picks it up off Tana. Calvin has been effective in attacking and he stays aggressive. Scoring that short stab to extend their lead back. Oktana on the attack once again. If the three-point shot is not falling, keep pounding the ball inside. Thompson, Pesumal, Ku, Brownlee, and Mariano, the five for Coach Tim Cohn. And Scotty Thompson hits the three back. As we made further adjustments, they leveled. But then Barangay Ginebra closed it out with strong efforts in game five and game six. They will now have a lot of get his points, but he had to work extra hard to get those numbers. Yes, it's going to be very important in game number two that uh, number one, they have to find a way to get, to get kicks out of your defense. Brian Aruela takes a basket here at the tail end of game one, but the that is 20 points below That's a lot. Bar. That's a lot. And that is how well TNT read them defensively. Of course, you have to understand that TNT had a couple of extra days as a break to prepare for what would be a finals rematch against Barangay Ginebra. Now the pressure shifts to Ginebra. They need to find a way to overcome the initial game plan of TNT and bounce back stronger come the second game. Yes, for sure.